This is Midjourney, an AI image generator that I use text prompts and reference images to create super realistic architecture imagery like this. I am an architecture grad student exploring the capabilities and implications of AI technology in architecture. In this video, I will show you how I turned these 2D AI images into a 3D model fast. To be successful, we need to create some AI images first before we turn them into a 3D model. So let's get started by finding some inspiration and direction for the design and style of our building so that we can create very well thought out AI images. This method will work with any building type or style and anything else that your imagination can fathom. I was quickly testing out some different prompts to see which keywords had the most influence and how I can tailor that to achieve the best outcomes that I wanted the most. Using AI requires some patience and testing because for now AI cannot read your mind and doesn't understand the vision that you have in your head. Usually this takes me about five to 10 minutes before I can find something to settle with and begin moving forward towards a complete building. Other times I get totally lost in the sauce and spend 30 minutes endlessly upscaling and generating images that mean nothing in the grand scheme of what I came there to do. Ultimately, the image quality is not as important as the design represented in two dimensions. The formula for great images is different for every person, but is based on creating something that you are proud of and like. There are still imperfections with this method, but trial and error has proven to be the best policy. And I mean a lot of error. Midjourney sometimes spits out a lot of BS. So it is good to find what works and what doesn't. For example, you need to be specific and intentional with the words that you include. It is important to not contradict yourself or write a paragraph of everything that you wanna include. Most of the time that stuff gets lost and the best way to create successful mid-journey prompts is to utilize precedent images and add the most important keywords at the beginning of the prompt where they have the most weight and influence. When you nail down your style and building type, the next step is to generate images of all four elevations for your building. And later in this video, I will show you my process I used to turn these images into a 3D model in Rhino. Naturally, Midjourney generates images in one point or two point perspective. This can obviously be annoying, but you can alter it through the prompts and the camera angles that you use. So use prompts that describe the goal or goals you were trying to achieve and make sure to include words like architecture elevation, no perspective, and then when you're trying to do a front elevation, describe things like a garage, a front door, indicators of what side of the building it's going to be. For something like a side elevation or a back elevation, mention there is a backyard patio, some trees, a chimney, just indicating and helping the image become more creative and realistic, elevating them to inform images with significant keywords. Depending on your design, you can use the same side elevation for the left and the right side. You can flip it or mirror it and get the same result. But for a lot of us, we're gonna be doing more complex images and ideas, so that might not work as well. Now that you have these images to work with, let's explore some of the ways to use AI to transform a 2D image into a 3D model or object. Here are a few options that I've found and tried out. Like many things, there are a few problems with these tools. One of the main issues is struggling to include good depth mapping. It is hard to gauge the relative distance and depth of a 2D image, especially if it lacks contrast and high quality. But even then, the accuracy is limited. In addition, AI struggles to fill in the back and the sides of an object or model, obviously limiting the practicality and realism of these tools altogether. Although it is a step in the right direction, um, there's definitely flaws and it's hard to get a full scope of what you're trying to achieve. Now, as you can see with these tests I've created, from certain views, you can start to see and understand the model, but there are still a lot of pieces of the puzzle that are missing and need to be resolved and put together for accurate results. So if you really wanna achieve the most accurate results, let's hop into Rhino or any compatible 3D software like SketchUp and 3D Max. So first of all, you're gonna bring in all your images into that 3D software, line them up in elevation, so left, right, front, and back, and find an element like a door or a person to scale the image consistently and correctly so that you have a good base and starting point to begin to model accurately. Usually I start with the front facade and begin to outline and create massing that aligns with the images that I am intending to replicate. Now these are just like the basic elements that you need to start from. Uh, you can go as crazy or as light as you want just depending on the complexity of your design. Start modeling the big moves like roofs, exterior walls, and setbacks. It'll give you the most bang for your buck getting an overall solid massing of your building and making sure all the pieces of the puzzle align 
is a huge step and can kind of start to give you an initial feedback is what you're doing being effective. Once you have moved on from there, you can start to resolve the massing, start modeling out those smaller elements like curtain wall systems, garages, and interior walls. Ultimately, you don't have to copy everything from the AI image. You have the freedom and the creativity and decision-making to come up with your own ideas and styles. You can mostly just use the images and the elevations as guides to align the faces and design elements. And sometimes the intersection between elevations starts to become a hot mess, especially in, in the middle of your model. Um, but obviously if you made it this far in the video, you definitely won't have a problem with this and can figure it out down the road. And before you know it, your jumbled mess of forms is beginning to look like something that you can be proud of for the most part. And if not, just go back and restart and maybe start this video from the beginning. But most importantly, you were able to develop and create a high detailed 3D model with lightning fast speed and accuracy. It might even impress your peers and clients, but we all know that's probably too much to ask for. This whole process can take me anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour and continues to be a great way for me to quickly generate ideas. AI images are a great way to get inspiration quickly and test out new ideas incredibly fast. Get them from your mind to the computer or to paper. But I don't want you to rely on AI or even let it replace your creativity. It's important that you use your Rolodex of experiences and catalog of images that you've scrolled through for years to shape your perspective and your architecture, not letting others dictate what you're trying to create because then everything is gonna be similar in some way or another. And we don't want that. That's not the goal of architecture. But the goal is not perfection. Let's say you don't like how your model turned out. You can just quickly go do the whole process all over again and it doesn't waste a lot of time. This method is a lot faster than the typical process of 3D modeling and allows you the ability to test out multiple ideas quickly. I know you wish AI could completely automate this whole process in minutes, but take a deep breath and understand that you have to have fun with what you do. Things aren't always better when done with speed, and I've been guilty with this as well. Don't let the future of what ifs scare or paralyze you from chasing your dreams and doing what you enjoy. Midjourney and AI are revolutionizing the way architects work. So if you want to learn more about this topic, click on these videos up here. Thank you for watching and welcome to the grind.